Powered by data, people transform their world. Businesses, homes, and lives depend on us to get it right. Materials, machines, products, resources, utilities, everything is getting smarter and connected. Now data drives our world. Our opportunity is to transform that data into intelligence. See it in motion. Capture, understand, share, see the future, and do amazing things. We've been working together with you to make it happen, to make outcomes predictable, and make failure a thing of the past. We are in it together on the amazing journey from just collecting streams of data to operational intelligence. Learning from the past, observing in real time, understanding the future with operational intelligence. Data from countless sensors and systems, unified, aggregated, and analyzed. Intelligence shared with you as you want it. Connecting past, present, and future. Our innovation applied to your data to achieve amazing results. You and OSIsoft, together we transform your world. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome OSIsoft's Vice President of Sales for North America, Carlos Thomas. We believe people with data can transform their world. We believe people with data can transform their world. Imagine a world where you didn't have access to data. How would that have changed or impact your life? At OSIsoft, we like to think that we are the why company. We ask the question, why? Why you do the things that you do? What is your motive for action? Are you running the same patterns today that you were 10 years ago? Or are you looking to take real-time data and transform your world? Let's take that topic and let's put it on the shelf for a second, because I would be remiss as your MC not to welcome you to the 2015 Users Conference for OSIsoft. Actually, those applause should be for you because of you, we are going to have our biggest users conference ever. We have over 2,000 people that are attending the user conference this year. This room is completely full. We have an overflow room of 600 more people that couldn't get into this room. And it's because of you that we're able to make this conference happen and we're looking to make it the best conference ever. We have a lot of things planned for you. We have technology sessions, industry talks, round tables. We have training, we have a hackathon, and we have a lot of fun things as well. The nice thing is that, for those of you that have your mobile devices, the website, you can go there, our event Mobi app, and you can personalize your agenda on your phone. You can take a look at all the different events. So today, we're focused on operational intelligence, enterprise, collaboration, and innovation. So you can go in and see what you want to do and plan out your roadmap on the mobile application. Also, if you hear something, if you talk to someone, if you go to a talk and it's really impactful to you, tweet about it. I was in an EA summit yesterday, and one of the clients stood up, and they were giving a presentation, and they said, we saved $45 million. That's tweet-worthy. So go to <laughs> at OSIsoft. <laughs> go to at OSIsoft and tweet about it. And if you can use the hashtag as well, that would be great. So we can get the social stream going as well. I also want to thank all of our sponsors and our partners that made this happen. Without them, we would not be able to put this event on. So a round of applause for all of our sponsors, please. <laughs> 35 years ago, Dr. Patrick Kennedy had a vision. 
35 years ago, I was in the first grade. 35 years ago, the number one movie playing in the movie theaters was Empire Strikes Back. That was probably a transformative type of movie. So what we are going to do, and it's my extreme pleasure and honor to be on stage and be able to welcome, introduce our president of OSISoft, Jenny Linton. Good morning. Welcome to the user conference while I fix my slides. Um, I saw The Empire Strikes Back in 1980. Uh, so uh, we're kicking off a tradition. We've been in business for 35 years, and we've been having these user conferences for more than 25 of those years. These events are very motivating. We build the infrastructure, and your creativity comes to life. So we thank you for these 35 years. It's been our close relationship. I just said that with customers allows us to do what we do, sorry. Thank you for being our customers and for believing us and staying with us as we grow with you. So this is the time to celebrate. We get to spend the next couple of days watching talk after talk and listening to you talk about how you make yourselves great. We're looking for more ways to hear from our customers. We value you and we value your input. And we want to be able to respond with the right products. So yesterday we hosted our preliminary customer advisory board meeting and some of your companies are represented. It includes multiple industries and geographies. We're aligning our strategy to make sure that we are um, aligned with what you really need, which is to be leaders in your own industries. We've started complimentary activities. We have an executive briefing program going on at our headquarters. We invite you to come to our headquarters and talk with our engineers and allow us to capture your needs so we can um, make better products and understand what you need across all levels of your organization. We need this to steer this company. We're a technology company. We exist out of responsibility to you. So we're excited to announce that right across the bay from here, we have broken ground on the Stanley No Tech campus. It's uh, right down the street from our current offices. After 35 years and 20 years in our current offices, we will be moving to the first building in this tech campus. It's uh, open in 2016. It will be more than twice the size of our current offices. We're just putting this in as an investment in our future as we continue to grow our company. So we're currently in two buildings, and we're going to bring everybody back together so we have all of our talent in one building in California so we can really make sure we understand what we need to do. If you've talked to our founder in the last few years, we're building a fiber loop in the city of San Leandro with, in conjunction with the city of San Leandro. We've put in 18 miles of fiber. We've got it running to BART, to a data center, and to Skydeck, which is UC Berkeley's innovation center. So economic development requires this academic influence. And uh, while we have a connection to Skydeck, and um, we relentlessly recruit their students out of Cal, um, we started earlier in San Leandro, it, before the university level, to get students to think about the innovative use of technology. So OSISoft has contributed to the economic development of San Leandro by putting pie in our city offices and in our schools. And what I have here is the result. Um, this was produced solely by the students of the city of the Sandra High, and I'd like to thank the students for, for sharing this with us. Thank you, guys. In our physics class at San Leandro High School, we used OSISoft's Pi software to look at graphs of electric current used by lights and receptacles in the district offices. We were able to view a whole month of current use, seeing how energy was saved on the weekends when nobody was working. And we could zoom in to see the hour by hour usage as well. This allowed us to determine that the lights are left on in our district office until about four in the morning, at which time they switch off until six in the morning when people start coming into work. We don't think anyone is working that late, so we hypothesize that if they turn the lights off earlier, they could save energy and money. We also found that the power used by receptacles never moved below 6 amps. We believe there are a lot of computers and copy machines that are left on and draw a lot of current, even when not being used. We suggested they plug as much as possible into power strips so they can easily be switched off at night and on the weekends. We are now waiting to see if the district will take our advice and we definitely look forward to looking at how the graphs change if they do. OSI Soft Pi software is pretty dang cool. But I really hope my dad never gets it because then he'll go crazy monitoring every light and computer left on in his house. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome OSISoft founder and CEO, Dr. Pat Kennedy. Now that was done by San Leandro High School and their advisors, Joanne Clark and Tony Farley. And his students are actually here as well, Alicia Eves, Carlos Herrera, Jessica Ustler, and Caleb Block. And uh, Alice? Oh, I had that wrong, Alice. <laughs> They're really shy, they wouldn't talk. <laughs> <clears throat> but to quote Lord Kelvin, who said you can't, you can't control things without being able to measure them, what they're showing is that if you can't see them, it doesn't make any difference. This was quite a surprise to the superintendent. So I'm just going to say uh, a few words and then I'll get off because at my age, when people say, how are you, the fact that you show up <laughs> says you've accomplished the first, uh, the first goal. But we have an interesting suite of papers this week. Uh, yeah, I guess it is a whole week. And I like to look through these and say, what really is going to change the world? What will change the world like the mouse changed the world of how we interact with computers? And I saw three things. One of them is more pie. You're going to see a lot of changes, enhancements, improvements, future data. Has anybody been waiting for future data? <laughs> So we'll have some of that, but that changes the way you interact with the system. It'll be bigger and faster. You know, I saw a Giggle article on, on big data, and they used a, an AMI project, and I looked at their billions of points a day, or whatever it was, and I divided till I got down. It was about 30,000 events per second. And there are systems today running Pi that are, that are several orders of magnitude more than that. So it is... It is new technology, it's, it's getting, the scope is increasing. The second thing, and I think this is really going to change the way the systems are put in place. Pi really is a system for a company. We even sell it as an enterprise system. It generally sits on your network. But we're introducing uh, products that connect securely and privately through the cloud so different companies can exchange data. That's a totally different paradigm than collecting the information from your company. It means you can talk to your vendors, your suppliers, your customers securely and privately. And that's called Pi Cloud Connect. You'll see a lot about that. And the third, the third thing I'd point out is that there are other people in the world besides OSIsoft. Some of them you'll hear talk today. But what happens is that you have this basic need to essentially make everything real time. And how do you make a map real time? How do you make an uh, enterprise system real time? And so we're showing you our new integrators that integrate with Esri, with the mapping software, and integrate with SAP, the enterprise software. And there are others coming on the way or some that have actually been done by the users, uh, by the vendors themselves. So we've cranked up the good weather. It's beautiful out there today. You'll be trapped in here. <laughs> and we hope we have an enjoyable conference for you. 26 years, as Carlos nicely pointed out, is a long time. But I think we continue to grow and we continue to innovate. And I'm glad to be here and welcome you to our conference. Thank you. <laughs>